Hey everybody, here we are for round one. We're up against somebody whose name I recognize from the draft, and we've got ourselves a totally fine starting hand. Three lands, two drop, three drops. Quarry Beetle that someday we'll get to, but otherwise it looks decent, and we're going to keep it. All right, what are they going to lead with? So presumably they're not green or white, based on how that draft was going. They are black. Turn one Festering Mummy. It's always turn one Festering Mummy. Turn one Ruthless Sniper. That's better than a Festering Mummy. Well, we're going to go Forest and a Go, and we're going to drop Aronis' Stalwart. And then we're going to drop probably the Naga, because it'll be a 4-2 with the Desert. We'll see. We'll see how the opponent goes. They're going to hit me for one. You got it. So they are black-white. So they are white. Interesting. Mummy Paramount. So they must have gone zombies. That was our plan. Let's drop the stalwart past the turn and see if they get to zombie up the mummy. Wayward Servant. Yeah, they really get to zombie up the mummy. That's unfortunate. Hit me for three. What are we going to do? We're going to drop a desert. We are going to... Um, I think we just need to attack. We just need to get in here and rumble. Um... Did they miss a land? They missed a land, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's get in. Let's get in for two. Let's just put serious pressure on him. We'll drop the Sidewinder Naga. In for two. Drop the Naga. And then this Quarry Beetle's really going to uh, kind of sweep up a little bit. We could even make a zombie next turn. Uh, no, because then we lose the land. No, that doesn't work quite the way I want it to. Well, they hit a land, but it's a tap land. One of the downsides of those deserts, for sure. But they got the Festering Mummy. So, do we kill the Mummy Paramount or not with the Sidewinder Naga? If our plan is to eventually drop a Quarry Beetle and kind of stonewall them a bit, then I think we do. Just get more stuff off their board. Because they're going to take us to 12. And the best we could do is attack into the mummy and get in for 3. Take them to 16. It's not a great, not a great race. Well, they thought about their attack, and they are going to make it, so we will jump in front. Do they have the time to reflect? I know there was one in that draft. They do not. What do we get? Synchronized Strike. Well, let's angrily pretend that we have nothing. In for two. There's no way they'll trade this mummy for it. Really? Okay. Did not see that coming. Um, sure, that dies. That's fine. I could save it, but I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to make the zombie instead. So we'll go back to three lands. Next turn we'll be at four. The turn after we'll be at quarry beetle, and we'll get the cradle back. They're stuck on a land anyways. We get ourselves a 2-2 that trades with either of their creatures. Yeah. Let's make a zombie. Zambi. Get him. Well, if they drew a land, I assumed it would have been slammed down. Gusty dubs. And a fan bearer. 
All right. Trial's not quite what I want at the moment. Um, so, so, I will just drop the Watchful Naga. They'll tap one of them down. I don't even think they'll tap one of them down. I think they'll just fly in for three. But we're going to need to flood the board or draw into Bitterbow or something to get that Gustwalker out of the skies. They hit a land. They got two cards left in hand. And we've got a beetle. Go into attacks without the tapping. So they are just going to fly in. They're just going to fly in. That is fine. Um, so we are going to side in Gideon's defeat. Let's remember that. Gideon's defeat coming in for sure. Mighty Leap's an option. Three drop? Four drop? Three drop? <clears throat> Lethal Sting, Killing, Ruthless Sniper. You got it. <laughs> I'm assuming they meant to Ruthless Sting and kill something that wasn't the Sniper. But they double clicked. So that's good. That helps us a bit. Um, yeah, we're going to swing in, get ourselves a card, come in with a zombie as well. see what we draw but we're still probably just gonna play that beetle yeah I'm just gonna play the beetle they're down to a single card in hand beetle down cradle comes back uh, we can scatter away that groves uh, maybe next turn depending on what we draw and then we just have to kill him before we die in the air which is several turns Grizzly Survivor, last card in hand. All right, all right. We've got control of this. We are good. We are real good here. They've got two mana up, so they're going to tap the beetle. Um, so I think I'm just going to go to attack, see what they do. They tap the beetle, sure. Um, I will scatter these groves. See what we draw. It's just a land. Um, pass the turn. We'll synchronize strike to hopefully eat some things. But that mummy is going to be a problem. The fan bear. Hopefully it attacks. Get greedy. Get greedy. Get real greedy. Oh, that's like the least greedy. That is not what we want to have happening right now. Right now. Well, I can always trial. Oh, it was a land and they played it out for me. Sweet. Yeah, we'll trial here and just get in for a bunch of damage. Okay. What's this then? So. I could give something plus three plus three. And then I could tap two creatures my opponent controls. And my creatures get vigilance. Hold up here. We might we can probably do something stupid, right? So we can do one, two, three, four, five. Uh make it a five five. Tap, tap. He'll tap this in response. Or he'll tap this at some point. My creatures get Vigilance. And then we've got Synchronized Strike. We've got Trial of Solidarity. We've got Synchronized Strike up. So one, two. So everything should be able to come in unimpeded. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
uh, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, this should be lethal a billion waves from Wednesday. Let's go with. Um, all right, so let's appeal that. Do I have the mana for this? Oh, I don't have the mana for all of it. Criminy. And then let's appeal the servant and the survivor. So that's 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can take him to 1 if we synchronize strike. So let's go to combat. Tap a creature. Sure. Synchronize strike. We can even exert this and draw a card, actually. Because exerting does not tap. In, exert, in, in. So that's in for... Oh, that's lethal, isn't it? 7, 11. No, it's in for 1, as I thought. As I thought. Take him to 1. Pass the turn. And then he's got 3 blockers. We've got 3 attackers and a trial. No ramp, unfortunately. We've got 4 blockers. So we can always try to draw a card here. Man, one more land would have done it. One more land. But we get to attack and exert that again and draw another card. And it's going to demand all of these creatures be blocked. So I think we're, we're still in good shape. Totally decent shape. So let's trial. So every single creature has to be blocked. Or no, I guess you can tap one down. Um, two creatures have to be blocked, so we get rid of a survivor and the wayward servant. Sure, tap that down. That's perfect, because that lets me draw a card. In and in. Steward of Solidarity, nice. So in, in. Block, block, dead, dead. And then we drop a steward, and we drop an oasis ritualist. And then they cannot attack, and they need to play two blockers. So we should have this. We have it. Ha ha. Got there. Well, that worked out really well. Gideon's Defeat, you're coming in. And what's coming out? Quarry Beetle did some work, I gotta say. Um, we can take out probably just the Overcome. Let's take it out. Of course, now we're going to have a turn to Steward of Solidarity and end the game with like 20 creatures on the board. But, you know, we have several other Anthem effects with the trial and the land and etc so we should be fine all right back for game two with uh one heck of a nice starting hand the only thing that would be better if one of these was is if one of these was a desert but it is pretty darn solid to me avenger into a camel uh sandblast up after we're done all that seems good seems good to me Mummy, you got it. You've got a 2-2, two -two, I've got a 3-1. Give me that sweet, sweet desert on top. Zombie? Uh, not a zombie. A ruin rat, you say? Well, I'll attack into your board pretty readily. <laughs> Camel! Jeez, playing a constructed deck here. Multiples of everything. In for three. Haha, -ha, take it. Mm 
drop a camel. Pass the turn. Opponents hitting their lands. There's the wayward servant. Holy crap, holy. <laughs> okay. Um let's kill our opponent with some haste, please. Um Camel come and get ya. Come and get ya. Trade with the rat? Sure. Get creatures off your board. Replace that camel with another camel. Next turn we can Oketra's Avenger leaving up Sandblast and Synchronized Strike, which seems real good. Wretched camel. Sure. Jesus triggers. We need these dead. Or our opponent dead. That's also an option. It's a pretty good option. Attack me. Attack me. Attack me. Come on. Come on. Don't be a wuss. Yeah. Dead. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I did not see this deck going around. Wow. We even tried. We even. Hey, Ambuscade. How's it going? Well, we're going to drop the Avenger. And we're going to pass the turn, leaving up Synchronized Strike and Ambuscade. Rhett Crop Spearmaster, sure. Attack me, please. Uh, all right, so we're going to have to kill one of those Waywards. We can't have those doing bad stuff to us anymore. Let's have our clock, or double our clock. Depends on how you look at it, I suppose. Um, okie dokes. Do we just come in for six? And then surprise on tap? Yeah, in for six. Take him down to something less than 22. Uh, 16? Down to 16. We can untap them both, and they will be five threes, which means they block and kill most of the stuff on the board. We can sandblast something else. Jesus, can you quit with the zombies? <clears throat> so we can kill the camel and the wayward servant if they come in, and then we can also sandblast a mummy paramount, or maybe the red crop. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Come on, stack your triggers. All right, you got a 3-3 mummy. You got a wayward servant. Swing with the team. Why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. Come on, get greedy. Get greedy. Yeah. All right, synchronized strike. We will eat the Wayward Servant and the Camel, and then we'll Sandblast the one card in hand. So realistically, this is going to be a 2-2. So let's drop the Wreck Crop and take three. Take three and make the board a little bit more balanced. Now, it's 17-7, to seven, which is still not the best. Ronus' stalwart will help out. Um, so I will come in for three. If they want to trade, they can trade. I extremely doubt they will. They will. Fine by me. Trick. 
Why didn't you use the trick last time to save your wayward servant? Act of heroism. Well, I guess it wouldn't have saved the wayward servant. Uh, sure. Well, we got the card out of their hand. They are now top decking just as much as we are. And they probably have far more lands to draw than we do. <laughs> or they just hit their damn zombies. All right, well, we can kill the zombie and take three. Go to four. Come on, MTGO. Be on my side for once. It would be cool of you. Come on, MTGO. You used to be cool. 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 Don't you dare drop another freaking zombie. Okay, at least it's not a zombie. Still, we've got to take two off that disposal mummy. So we are dead in the air. Ugh. We were not done any favors here, and our opponent was done all of the favors, drawing only four lands. Hey, we're still dead. We're still just dead. But maybe they screw up. It's possible. Maybe they screw up. Four lands. I suppose we haven't really seen anything above three. Maybe they are playing like something real dumb, like 14 or 15 lands. Did you do it properly? You did it properly. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, that sucked a whole great big gigantic bunch, and it was going to continue to suck a great big gigantic bunch. Um, let's have MTGO not screw us around. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's what we'll do. Uh, shed weakness. No. Let's just go back in and draw appropriate stuff. All right. We're playing first, finally, which should really uh, help us out, I imagine. And that's a fine starting hand. It's a nice curve. So let's go with it. Planes and a go. What you got, opponent? You got a land. You got a one drop. It's a festering mummy, which is pretty good against an Avenger. And we get a trial of strength. Um, so we can just make a 4 2 as opposed to not yet having a 4 2. Seems good. Then our Oasis Ritualist blocks almost everything in his deck that we've seen. Mummy Paramount, you got it. Festering Mummy, do your worst. Okay, sure. Uh, well. Okatra's Avenger, go and give it to you. If you want to trade with the Mummy, that is fine. You got it. You got it. Let's keep that board nice and empty over there. Drop a 4-2. After that, we'll get a Ritualist and start barfing our hand out. And by 4-2, I mean 2-4. Opponent hitting their lands, dropping the Wayward Servant. Never didn't always have the Wayward Servant. I'm just kidding, they always have the Wayward Servants. I will pretty gladly trade this Paramount for my beast, I think. Well, actually, no, we're both at 20. I'll take three here and ram in with my beast. That's what I'll do. Ah, they opt not to attack. Smart play. I'm going to come in with the beast. Getcha. 
Haha. And then we'll drop the Ritualist. Uh, we can even get to cycle this Groves and bring it back with the Beetle. That'll be fun. It'll take a few turns, but it'll be fun. Moaning Wall. Went deep on the zombies, I see. Went real deep. That's actually going to be a bit of a problem. We can't attack through that super well. So 3-3 three, three Mummy can't attack into the Ritualist. I mean, it can, but it's just a chump block. Or a, a bounce off of each other block. Uh, cool. A Plains. Well, we will cycle. Draw a card. Um, we will... We will, we will rock you. Um, we will probably exert and drop this quarry beetle and get the groves back. So, I'm pretty sure they'll just block with the wall. If we come in with the beast, they won't let in four. So I'd rather have the blocker back. So yeah, let's just do quarry beetle. Green, green. Bring Scattered Groves back to the battlefield. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Enters tapped. Perfect. Well, they're hitting more lands this game. Uh, dutiful Servants, sure. Building up that wall. What do we do against X-Fives? Well, we draw our Trial of Solidarity. We draw our Shefet Dunes. We draw our Synchronized Strike. We draw all of them their things. Camel. Four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I guess we just flood the board. So let's drop a Camel. Let's drop a Sidewinder. And then wish that we had Overcome in our deck. <clears throat> so I'm really hoping they kill something on board before I bring out the Sharpshooters, because the Sharpshooters are what's going to save us from those damn Gustwalkers. Anointer Priest, sure. This is going to be a long game. This is going to be a very long game. And that's not what our opponent wants when they're at 9 minutes and we're at 14. That being said, I don't want to sit here for upwards of 15 minutes while our opponent loses the game on the clock. So let's see if we can do something. Let's see if we can do something. We can draw a Hoodie Bee. Sure. Let's pop down Hoodie Bee. Hoodie Bee attacks into the X-Fives because the card is stupid. <laughs> Stupidly, utterly busted. And we do have another one in the deck as well. I assume these were sideboard decisions. Alright, another zombie. And opponent is in top deck mode. So I think we're still totally, utterly fine. It's just going to take a while. Show me... What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I want... Um, removal, a desert, my other hooded brawler. Uh, you work. You attack through that board real well. Uh, yeah, let's come in with Hoodie B here. In with my 5 4. So they could maybe like double block. Maybe they throw a wall in front. Maybe they just take five. It's a lot of maybes. They do the double block. Sure. So we'll get rid of the 2-5 because it's much worse to deal with. Tis dead. And then we'll drop a Ronus's Stalwart. 
So Rodus' stalwart can start attacking in for three. Opponent drops another disposal on me. Holy man. Zambies. Just need a desert and a peel and make a giant trampoly lifelink camel. What do we get? Tell me that it's awesome. It is a brand new forest. Garbage. Uh, yeah, we're going to get in for three. Uh, we're going to get in for seven. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting in for seven. Let's do some damage. If you want to trade with a disposal, I'm fine with that. If you just want to bounce it off and take three, I'm fine with that. There we go, give me something to eat. Nom 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 nom. There we go. Reducing that board down. Can opponent just flood out for once in their life? <laughs> okay. Mummy Paramount. Drain me again. Sure. Pass the turn. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me a brand new Catcher's Avenger. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Pass the turn. Well, next turn we can attack them for three. Oh my god, flood out! <laughs> Alright, so they got a Bladed Bat, so we're going to take two in the air here. So we're going to have to drop the Bitterbow Sharpshooters next turn. Hasty bat, sure. In for two, down to eleven. You have got it, opponent. What do we get? Appeal. I don't want you just yet. I want you soon. I want you when this has lifelink. Uh, let's drop the bit of bow. Let's get in for three. Let's hope they don't top deck lethal sting. It's a one out of 23 chance. And they've got to hit more lands at some point, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is plus seven, plus seven trample right now. That's pretty good. Just saying. Plus seven, plus seven trample. And we tap the walls. And then come in with team and synchronize strike. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we could synchronize strike right now to untap that. All right. What happens here? What happens here? What happens here? We give plus seven, plus seven to this. So it's an 11, 11 trample. We tap the two walls. We synchronize strike that and that, so it's actually a 13 13 trample. He can block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of it. He can block all of it, but his board dies. Plus, he also then takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 if we exert it, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He dies. So, we're going to do that. We're going to synchronize strike.
We're going to appeal. And we're going to authority, tapping the things that can soak up all the damage. Giving vigilance to the team. We're going to go to combat. And we're going to go in, 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 exert, in, exert, in. So he's taking four guaranteed. And he can trade with those. But otherwise, he's dead. And I'm pretty sure he's just dead. <laughs> just takes it. Down to... Magic Online won't even show it. Oh, I think they conceded before they took the damage. Well, that worked out really well. Uh, Appeal to Authority worked out really, really, really well. Um, but I don't think that's the average case. That was the my opponent's playing a ridiculous number of Moaning Walls case. Anyways, I will see you guys for game two, which hopefully goes a little bit faster. <laughs>